My name's Olivia, and today I'm going to be showcasing the amazing features within our OSCE station platform. Let's start by looking at the OSCE stations available. You'll notice we have many different categories of stations to match the skills that will be expected of you in your real OSCE. There are over 900 stations for you to practice with, covering a multitude of conditions and specialties. You can even filter these to focus your revision around a specific specialty, topic or symptom. Let's have a look at a station together. Once you click on it, you'll be taken to the station's landing page. The first thing you'll notice is a detailed set of candidate instructions, which details what you're expected to do in the station. The patient instructions reveals the script the pretend patient should follow. Finally, the examiner instructions contains helpful Viva questions relevant to the condition being tested in the station. As well as this, there is a helpful examiner checklist detailing everything you would be expected to do in order to get full marks in the station. If you are practicing alone, click on single player mode. Here you can view both the candidate, patient and examiner instructions all on one page, making all of this information quickly accessible for solo practice. If you are practicing alone but are looking for a way to simulate the real OSCE, Try out the virtual patient button. Here, you can communicate with our AI-powered patient by typing or speaking. Here, you can see I'm introducing myself and asking for the patient's name and date of birth, just like I do in real life. I'm then confirming what the patient would like to be called. To practice with your real voice, click the microphone and begin speaking. Thank you, Mrs. Johnson. Can I ask you what brought you into hospital today? Once you've finished, click this button again. Once you've finished your history, scroll down to practice some Viva questions and mark your performance using the examiner checklist, just as you saw earlier. Once you've finished, click End Session. Here you'll be taken to a detailed analysis page, summarising your performance. If you'd rather practice in a group, you can do that too. Simply click on Group Practice and scroll down to view your unique QR code. Your friends can join this session by scanning the QR code or by clicking Join Session from the menu sidebar and entering the unique PIN. Once everyone has joined, the host can assign roles and you'll then be taken to the screen relevant to your assigned role creating a seamless group practice experience. If you want to practice with someone, but no one is available, try out our OSCE matching function, where you'll be paired with another Geeky Medics user. You can even join the online Geeky Medics chat room. Want to create your own unique stations? You can do that too. You can even create your own checklists, customise to your own stations, and share these with your friends. You can use the toggle function to create titles for the checklist and move around anything in the list. After this, you'll be able to see a preview of your station by clicking on the preview button. After all this practice, click on the insights button for a detailed analysis of how you're performing. You can even see how you're performing relative to your peers helping you target your revision. So, are you ready to smash your OSCE? Check out the Geeky Medics OSCE station platform by clicking the link in the description box below.